In today's tutorial we will once again have a look at cyclohexane conformations. Here we have the chair conformation, there is the boat conformation. With cyclohexane, the parent compound, of course all those substituents are just hydrogen substituents. The chair conformation is by far the more stable one. There is an equilibrium between those two, but the chair conformation is preferred with more than 99.99%. Why is this the case? Well, with the Newman, the so-called Newman projection, we can easily understand why this is the case. So, a simple Newman projection of a thane. That means, let's have a look at the molecule consisting of two combined methyl groups. For the Newman projection, we have a look at this CC bond having one of the two carbon atoms in front. Well, and we then imagine that we see this as the carbon atom and the second carbon atom is behind the first one. And we would notice that we have three hydrogens connected to that carbon. And in the projection this would look like this. So, the second carbon is behind the first one. We don't see that second carbon, but we could see then in that projection the other three hydrogens. And those three hydrogens should be drawn like that. Well, they would prefer positions like this as far away as possible from the other hydrogens in front. Otherwise, you have steric interaction and they would avoid being right behind each other. So, let us try a Newman projection of those two cyclohexane conformations. Having a look in this direction onto this CC bond and at the same time also to the second CC bond here which is located behind the whiteboard. So then we would see side by side those two carbon atoms. We would notice there we have that bridge, this methylene bridge, with one hydrogen looking towards us and the other one pointing away from us. Then we have these equatorial hydrogens, this and that, and those two axial hydrogens, this one and that one. So what is sitting at those two carbons, which are straight behind the front carbons? Well, there we have those two axial hydrogens there and there, two equatorial hydrogens, those two, and this methylene group here with one axial hydrogen and 
the other one would be that pointing away from us. Well, okay, and that means we should correct here. So, this hydrogen there is the axial hydrogen, not pointing away from us, but just straight sitting here, and that hydrogen is pointing towards of us, it's that equatorial hydrogen. So, now let's have a look how would this kind of drawing look like for the boat conformation. So, again, the two carbon atoms in front then axial and equatorial hydrogens here we have the methylene bridge with the flag pole Hydrogen, well, in this case, it's pointing a little bit away from us and here pointing towards us the bowsprit hydrogen. So, what about those substituents at the carbons located behind the front carbons? Well, they are located ecliptically here also just behind the front hydrogens there is steric repulsion and we would have to draw this methylene group well, behind the front methylene group and again, well, you see, we don't have room to put in those two hydrogens there. Well, especially those flagpole hydrogens are pointing towards each other. Steric, clearly a steric repulsion. And this is the reason why this boat conformation is thermodynamically far less stable than the chair conformation. Indeed, those hydrogens here and also those hydrogens, those flagpole hydrogens, try to avoid each other a little bit. So the molecule with both conformation should be preferentially twisted a little bit and this is then indeed the so-called twisted boat conformation. Thanks for listening.